So you've watched our 16 types of trick shots video, which is over 1.1 million views now. So that means you either really like trick shots or you really like 16 types of things. So we decided to make a really bad guess to make this video 16 types of smashes. Starting with our easiest smash first, the basic smash. For this smash, what we want to do is position us into the one, two, three movement. So one is our bow and arrow shooting upwards, two is our elbow forward, and three is our 45 degree contact point coming downwards using our chest, our forearm, our wrist, and our fingers to bring everything down using around 80% power. This is what it looks like. Our second smash is going to be the tap smash. What that's gonna be is very similar to the first smash where we do our one bow and arrow, two into our secondary position, but the difference on the tap smash is you're focusing a lot more in your forearm, wrist, and fingers on a quick snap. That's gonna be much less of a swing, but much more angled and much more controlled. So instead of doing this full swing through and using more of your chest to bring it straight down, you're gonna come here, one, two, and last moment, pop, just do a snap. So you don't have to follow all the way through, but make sure after you do your snap, your momentum is still going forward. Yeah. Yeah. Our third smash is going to be the slice smash. How you're gonna do this shot is starting with our one first, into our two. Now this shot's gonna be all about contact point. For this, you kind of have to imagine if this is the bird, that you're wrapping around the bird so that you still have four momentum, but you're also slicing the bird and curving it to reduce the speed. So your shot's gonna come one, two, and then on contact point, hit first, and then wrap around it to have that shot go cross court. This is what it looks like. Our fourth shot is gonna be the reverse slice smash. So again, we go one, two, but this time instead of wrapping inwards, we're gonna go wrapping outwards. Now why is this harder? It's because of our grip. We have to supplement this by moving our grip more into a panhandle, you see? By moving our grip into a panhandle, the racket face is now more out. And instead of turning our wrist out, we have to use our fingers to rotate outwards. So when the shot comes on our three, we hit it straight and then using our fingers and the panhandle grip to rotate outwards so that the shot can slice in the opposite direction. Our fifth smash is gonna be the coveted jump smash. Now what's gonna be different is our footwork and our expansion. So what we're gonna be doing is stepping all the way back. On these back two lines, we're gonna put our feet together. So running back and then boom, it's together. From here, we're going to be using our arms to do a jump motion. Now when we're jumping, we want to be opening up as much as possible so that when we close, we can use our core as well to add that power in. A lot of you, when you jump smash, you try to arch your legs backwards on purpose. No, they should naturally arch because you are opening up your core. And then when you come up and smash, you're gonna be closing your core while doing your one, two, three to bring that momentum forward to generate even more power. This is what it looks like. Our sixth smash is gonna be the forehand recovery smash. So they're gonna be hitting a shot to our forehand, but instead of getting it super in position, what we're gonna be doing is our crossover footwork, our one, two, and then into our lunge. You can adjust more if you need. But from here, you're gonna be hitting it slightly behind you. Also keeping the fundamentals of the one, two, three, just now more from the side. So you open, you go one, our bow and arrow, just more to the side, two, bring out our elbow, and three, Extended contact point and bring it forward. This is what it looks like. Our seventh smash is gonna be the even more coveted backhand smash. So how you do the shot is you're gonna be turning your body first, facing 45 degree 
this way, but you're gonna be turning this way because this is where you're hitting your shot. We're gonna be pulling backwards our whole arm and shoulder and our back on one. Pull high and far away so you have distance. Two is our elbow out like always. Three is going to be our snap forward. One thing that's also gonna be super important is your grip. You're not gonna be in neutral grip. You're gonna be focusing more on generating power with your thumb. If your shots are always going out too much then you need to turn your grip a little bit more inside so that your racket face is facing more inside, contacting the shuttle. This is what it looks like. Our eighth smash is gonna be the backhand drive smash. What you wanna apply is still the same things as a backhand smash. You go here. But instead of getting your contact point high, what you're gonna do is allow the bird to drop a little bit lower. And same as our forehand drive smash, we're gonna give enough space so that we can go all the way around, do our one, two, and as we contact slightly behind us, our arm will still be straight, and then slingshot all the way through. This is what it's gonna look like. Our ninth smash is gonna be the backhand intercept jump smash. That's a lot of big words. So what we're gonna be doing, you come here, you jump, and then you cut it off using a very quick snap cross court. You wanna make sure you have this snap because it's gonna be so quick. You're just gonna be coming up, pop, and then snapping cross court. All right, let's see what it looks like. Not bad. Our 10th smash is gonna be the 360 smash. Now this smash is super effective, never. So what you wanna do for this smash is go from the sideways position, from here, as the bird's coming towards you, boom, you wanna do a 360 jump, and as it's coming back, you just try to your best to hit it. Paul's gonna try. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> Our 11th smash is gonna be called the one shot, one kill. Now how you're gonna do this smash is that you need the smash to be relatively close to the net. So either they hit a bad lift, bad whatever it is, they're just bad, they hit it up here, and you're about to smash, what you wanna do is let the spur drop, and as it gets down here, you're gonna go underhand, and then boom, whip it all the way into the leg, break their shin, break their Achilles, break their knee, break everything to go for that one shot, one kill. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Our 12th smash is gonna be the Naruto smash. So what you wanna do is first get into your ready position. You turn your racket into a kunai, okay? So you wanna be holding it backwards. From here, you gotta do a little bit of bounce like your fight character about to battle. So now what you wanna do in this shot is you wanna turn your body to facing where the shot is. And as it's coming up, you're gonna be using this pronation of your elbows, your forearms, and also your wrists backwards to come up. You gotta also use your fingers if you want it to come up all the way. And it's gonna be more neck kill, neck kill, neck kill, neck kill, okay, neck kill smash. So as you, you can be playing a normal game, boom, and then you're like, okay, this is the one Naruto formation, boom. I'm now in kunai mode. And then you come up and you go smash, 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 smash. This is what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our 13th smash is gonna be our dexterity plus 10 smash. So how we do this is we're gonna be standing and from this position, do a backward somersault. It's gonna give us the dexterity to move around the court properly, very efficiently, very quickly, and also carrying momentum. From there, after we do our roll, we're gonna get into our position and boom, hit that winning smash. This is what it looks like. Just like the last video, the 16 trick shots, we ended it short because we ran out of shots. But I'll give you a deal this time. If this video hits 1 million views, then we'll make a 16, like, when we say 16, it'll be 16 next time. All right? Until then, like, follow, subscribe, and see you often.